Hello YouTubers! Today, I'm going to show you my intercom system update. Because one of my subscribers requested me to make an update video on my intercom system. Yes, there has been a lot of changes to the system. And I'm going to start off with my new amplifier. This is a Panasonic home theater system amplifier. The kitten one didn't have any problems, but I thought maybe it was time to upgrade a little bit. I actually got this at the Goodwill for $12, but I think it had a purple tag on it, and it was like half off, so I got this for like $6 that day, so... It works really well with my system. And I, I added another speaker up here, which is the Atlas speaker from the University of Tennessee. This sucker's up here, and it's been working really well. And as you may notice, I painted my room. So, and I actually painted the housings the same color, too. And this is still the same, the Atlas speaker with the volume knob in the middle. The horn is still in the same place. The wall is still orange. This housing's still white. This Qualm speaker's still in place. This Bogan classroom speaker's still in place. This is the same, but except I replaced the driver in this one. This actually has an Atlas driver, which is the same one I took out of that speaker over there because I had four of those Atlas speakers. So I stuck one of them up here. And I stuck an Atlas speaker as well up here, but this was a carrier housing that, you're, that you put on the ceiling tile. But I modified this. I just put a piece of wood in the back and screwed it to a stud in the wall and actually this didn't have a speaker so I, as well I took the driver out of this as well and put it up there so these two have the exact same drivers as that because they came out of the the speakers that came from the Tennessee this Bogan's still the same this one's the same these two haven't changed except I painted the housings along with the room. These two are still the same. I have the phone all right here, but right now it's not stationary right now. But what I'm going to probably be doing is I might be going to Home Depot eventually. And I'm going to probably get some more telephone jacks so I can mount them throughout the room. But this phone still works and I can just plug and play with any landline phone. I don't need to modify the phone at all. Just plug it straight in there and this will just work just fine with it. The bass is more subtle on this. It's, it's not real bassy on the system which is good. Everything is real subtle on here. And this guy's been working fine, so. And this is where that system sensor used to be. I took that down and put the speaker where it used to be. And here when I, you should listen to how when I close, shut the phone. The bass is not real bad anymore. It's actually real calm now. And it won't overload the amp. And actually too, I'm in making another one in the workshop, which I'll show you after this. So stay tuned for the intercom video in the workshop. Okay, YouTubers, so now I'm in my workshop over here. And yes, I made a bunch of changes in here, so... Start off with these two speakers. These are Iowa boombox speakers. And I, these are actually original in here. But I have a new amp. It's not that Pioneer amp anymore. This is an Iowa stereo. We're here. And these two match really well to this. Even though they're not, they didn't come out of the same product, the same model that came out of different years, but this amp works really well. And over here I have two Phillips stereo speakers that were just laying around in my room. I actually did a, some cleaning in here yesterday, as you could tell by all this trash right here. I reorganized the workshop and I built this except the Raptors are all original that I put in an earlier time but this right here is styrofoam and then this metal-y looking material here is actually like a radiation barrier but right here I stuck an Atlas University speaker as well over here 
And it's the same set that the other one in my room came from. They're all the set, and they came from the University of Tennessee, Knoxville. If you haven't seen that video, I posted it like almost two months ago. Got a phone right here and everything. It's not very loud on this system because there's no preamp like the computer, because the computer basically acts as a preamp for this. So I'll pick it up. It's not really loud. Check, check, check. I have to turn all the way to max on this. Put in bottom of 64. And this will do works. This actually is all working. And I actually left the transformer on this guy right here. All I did was I put another transformer I had extra and reverse engineered it. So this could run at 70 volts. But all of it is just a basic 8 ohm line running all the way up here, running all the way back down until it reaches the back to this. Now, what I'm eventually going to do is I'm going to have like some kind of like a transmitter. Like either an RCA transmitter or like a FM transmitter where I could pick a frequency on the on the radio so I can wirelessly play music from my other room to in here on this system and still page through the radio waves like using local resources like the radio. So I'm not having to go up there and I couldn't even do it in my other room because I don't have any ceiling tiles or an opening and I don't want to be destroying the house to run wires all the way back in here. So I have to use local wireless resources such as a radio or get an RCA, a wireless RCA transmitter set. So I, I can pick this phone up from my other room and it pages both on the other system in my other room and both in the other one back in here all at the same time or if someone wants to hook up a cell phone on my system their signals from the phone will transmit all the way back in here as well and there might be some kind of other building that might be coming up pretty soon I'm not sure if it's gonna happen but if it does I will actually make another system in there and that will be a third system and this is kind of a school setting type of thing where there's multiple buildings and they have receivers and everything inside of each building that has a transmitter where they all all inter they interconnect with each other in such a way that's what I'm trying to do here big stuff using stereo systems and receivers and I also might be using that rats and amplifier in a future building that might be coming up or if it even happens so I, you, I can't guarantee you on that. But if it does, well, I have an extra amplifier. I still have two more of these speakers, except they have different drivers. And, I've, and I'll use some kind of like a radio, like maybe that little boom box in the corner over there. Right, right from that vacuum cleaner. So I'll pick the signals up and they all interconnect in such a way. All the way from my other room and that computer is basically the set as a master for multiple purposes I hope you guys enjoyed my new intercom video update because one of my subscribers requested that and, and subscribe to me and I'm very happy to see my subscribers grow and grow and grow every day now I'm up to like 61 subscribers which is cool and I really appreciate that I'll see you guys all later.